Okay, so here we are with part two. Let me adjust this camera. Anything you would like to say to the people? Anything. You all bear with me as I'm trying to remember these points. Please bear with me because I am really trying to remember the names to a certain degree. I, I, like I have been sitting down studying these plant names. Like I, I don't have time for that. But <laughs> right here in this area, we are now in our shade garden where most of it's shade. But the side I'm on right now gets plenty of sun. Um, not all day, but it gets most of the sun. So like the shade is mostly in the middle of the garden, like with that tree. And then this end. And when we get over to that end, gets more sun. So this gets more sun. And so my hen and chicks plants are doing great. Somebody tell me what I'm supposed to do with this, actually. I'm saying they're doing great. I, I thought to leave it because I wanted to make babies. But should I be cutting this mother plant off? That's what I'm calling it, the mother plant. Should I be cutting this off? Okay, then we have Lamian in this space. I forgot the name of these bushes. I thought about moving them. There's one, two, there's one in there. Um, they used to be along this fence, but every time I make a garden space along this fence, my dogs decide that that's exactly where they want to poop and do stuff. So I just keep taking things out and just saying like, you know, I'm not going to have anything in the top of the yard, right? Okay, then back here, as you all know, I did a whole line which I love of these hosta, a whole line. I was able to go to someone's garden and dig them all up. And I'm so grateful. And I did a whole line. So the, all the hostas go down all the way to the end. They don't go to the side, but to the end. And so then we have come around and we have these. And I was like, well, maybe those are too tall right there. But I'm thinking about taking the third one and moving it right here. Because that way, you know, it looks like a little secret until you get all the way around. If that makes any sense. Let me know what you think. And so as you come around, you come and we have an azalea here that bloomed pink in the spring. Azaleas bloom in the spring and they bloom pink and it was gorgeous then we have my viburnum tree and this is said to get 10 feet tall 10 feet wide and so it has put on a lot of growth since i put it in and i think i put this in two years ago and so it has put on a lot of growth since then when it does bloom because because this blooms in the spring too and that's what i'm trying to do now i'm trying to make sure that i get plants that i have some type of bloom all season long from spring all the way to fall all the way to the end of fall, I should say. I said, oh, I should say, I want to make sure that I have blooms. So I'm trying to put, you know, plants in now that bloom in the summer and the spring. Um, this viburnum is gorgeous. I'm going to try to see if I can find a picture. I love it so much when it does bloom. We have some sedum growing here. Um, and when I get, what I do is I take sedum and I'll stick it in areas along the edge along with lamium because i want this whole edge to have because it's kind of it's a hill once again we're dealing with hills in this on this property and so what i want to happen is i want the um the lamium and the sedum to kind of stop the erosion and so i've been placing it along here right here this bee is enjoying himself enjoy yourself b this is scabiosa i i showed you another one over there i think i called it like a pen flower or something like that but i know it's also known as scabiosa i need to i've been um just you know deadheading it and it's been growing and growing we have this right here is a coreoptis and it's so beautiful this coreoptis right here um the other when it it was in full bloom and this is why I said I don't want to miss bloom. This was literally in full bloom. And I know it's going to bloom out again. You see all the, it's also no, Coryoptis is also known as Tixie. But you see all the buds on it. So I know we're going to get full bloom. This right here is an iris that I stuck here. It didn't bloom. We'll see what happens next year. Don't know the name of this plant, but it's been going strong. It's gorgeous. And that this blooms, when this one blooms, it blooms, um, purple and as you can see we're getting new growth inside even though it's laid out another little plant a lot of these are like ground covers for me you know we have some sedum back there we have another azalea that also blooms pink all the azaleas over here do bloom pink 
this right here I don't think I left a tag on this. This was a clearance plant that I finally had got in the ground, but it seems to be doing good. It blooms these pretty, um, as you can see, yellow flowers. I'm going to be going through and, you know, cutting out all the dead stuff. This right here is Joey Pie Weed. And so this gives white flowers. This should get pretty big and tall for us. This right here um yep i took the i thought i left the tag trying to leave the tag on some of these things but i didn't but when this blooms it has these beautiful little pink flowers it blooms in the spring and then i just love the dark fo foliage on it and i don't have the name have some yarrow right here now these three plants one two three these were a part of that haul the clearance hall that is the name of this plant and so when when i did cut it back this one right here is growing back i cut out the center accidentally on this one and i was like oh my gosh it died but it's growing back so i went ahead and put it in the ground and i was like we'll see what happens and so when it was blooming it had those pretty pink flowers and so we're going to see what happens with those two we have another Joey Pie Weed here. I think that's what you call it. And then we have this. Now, this has been here. I think this is its second year. And it's not getting that big. I'm going to go read the specs on it again and see if I need to actually move it. I mean, I don't mind it being this small. But it just, you know, hasn't gotten any big, any much bigger. More Coreoptis. Then we have back here. Oh, gosh. Y'all gonna hear me say oh gosh a lot because I literally be saying these plants as I told you all in the other video out loud. And when I get up here, I'm like, what is the name of that plant? But we have three of those. I'm trying to remember it by the time I get over there, okay? This is another bush. This right here is my daisies and they are beautiful. Um these are old blooms i'm gonna have to get in here and cut them back um that's what i was saying i'm gonna have to get in here and cut it cut it back this is a type of lily oh and it's growing it says that it's perennial for my area so we shall see we shall see and so this pot turned out very good i think it's so pretty it was tall um but unfortunately, someone came in and broke it. But what I did was um, I stuck the broken parts down in there. Sometimes I think I also forget the name of the flowers because I'm trying not to make the tours long. And I'm like trying to like hurry up and talk. And then I literally forget the name of the flowers that I've been saying the names of the whole time. And that's why I wanted to tag things. But we'll get it together. But I have a bunch um of of these around when these do break right here when they bloom they bloom these ones over here bloom i think these one bloom pink these bloom pink i have two sets that bloom pink i have a set that blooms purple and then i have a set that blooms um red so yeah so if i think of the name as i'm, I'm not gonna feel bad about this because sometimes i you know i'd be like oh my gosh i should have known but no it's okay. They're plants. So we're going to move right along. And they're beautiful. Have a hosta here that I don't remember putting here. Some lamium. Another viburnum that will be 10 by 10. But this one gets more shade. Because now you see how far we've come over. There's sun over there. Now this one gets more shade. So I think this is why this one. I think that's why this one's growing slower. Coreoptis in there. This is another viburnum. I do remember that. The tag is over there for me to remember. And when these bloom, they have these beautiful white flowers, as you can see. So it looks like I'm getting a second flush of blooms on this plant. And that's awesome. Another Coreoptis or Tick Seed is in here. This right here, I, these are the same plants I was just talking about over there that I'm going to try to remember the name of. Um... That's a daylily back there. Oh, I have two of those bushes, so I can tell you all the name of that. This one gets more shade, so it might be growing a little slower. So this is that bush that I was talking about. 
on the other side and so when it blooms it has these beautiful little pink flowers in the spring but then it gives you all this foliage um loveliness for the rest of the summer and fall like i said that's a day lily this is gara and this gara plant has little white blooms when it does bloom i have another one so we'll see the blooms another sedum another spirea that i'm gonna have to cut back and tame a little bit but i i like it like this it can go wild like i said as you can see the lamium that i have growing here this is that viburnum we were just talking about with the little white flowers this one actually doesn't have any buds well there's one little tiny flower i guess <laughs> right there is a bleeding heart which we know blooms it blooms in the spring and so but it gives you this foliage this is its first year so that's why it's such a tiny baby there's more daylilies back there that are going to bloom another azalea once again pink flowers this is gara and you see the little white blooms if i can get it to stay still because the wind is blowing these are the little white blooms and then that's another bleeding heart i like that color that light um the light green star troops is how you say it color on it um and that's a bleeding heart another spirea we have over here some what are these black eyes susie yep this is a fallen um iris <laughs> But um, these black eyes Susans are going to give us some blooms. Over here, I used to have like shade the whole entire time. But now um, my neighbors, they cut um, a tree that was over here, which is fine. And so I get a little bit more sun, but still not sun all day, which is good. Because there's still some tree blockage from my tree and their other tree. Um, another iris. And of course, it's fine. It's their tree. They can do what they want. <laughs> um, another iris. Um sedum all of this is too close i'm gonna have to eventually move all of this another bleeding heart i got these little oh definitely forgot the name of these but they blew um little yellow flowers when they're in bloom in the spring we have another bleeding heart i think i said this right here is phlox it had got pyre mildew this also is too close and actually i might just pull that out that looks like a daylily oops i can't get it out I'm gonna come back and take it out but this is phlox and um it didn't bloom and it got powdery mildew so i cut it all the way to the ground and you see it's producing new growth that right there is another black eye susan this is a spirea um i'm gonna get the name of these for you all we have hookahs or corabels as some people call them so whatever you want to call them hostas you'll see a lot of hookahs and hostas over here of different color this is my favorite one it's so bright it brings a lot of brightness this is a bunch of day lilies i just much found i found little um seedlings and just stuck them over here um more corbel this plant right here i gotta come and deadhead i showed you all this it's a type of fern here is the name of this one um false actually call us false spirea but it looks like a fern so i have to get the name of that but it's gonna grow um i think six to eight feet tall and so hopefully it'll grow past the height of the fence that is what i want it to do um yeah <laughs> this is a spirea um see them more hostas i told you you'll see plenty of hostas over here plenty of coral coral bell and then we have our hardy ger geraniums that we recently put in i told you all about and so we won't have to go through all of them but recently over here what i did was um i had this jacob's ladder and i had six of them over here and as you can see there's just one i have three over there that i pulled up and put in what i call my hospital they're in recovery i'm gonna see if they will fight back and they will live but what i did was i pulled up some hookahs that i had back there and i stuck them 
here and so they're just recovering i just did this the other day and so they'll be fine um these two look fine already this one had a little shock and so the hostas that i took from over there in order to um put those other plants that i told you about earlier here are some of them i just stuck them over here and i stick hostas back here all the time you see how burnt up that one was look at that that's what i'm talking about that's what the sun did so i put it back here so we'll see this plant right here i got at a plant sale and it's gorgeous and oh, of course ah oh, the writing on it is gone i'm gonna try to make out the writing so i can't see it but they have put on a lot of growth and i think they're very cute so let's move along we have this broad rock i think that's how you say it and so it already bloomed we cut back the blooms and i'm hoping it will get really really big um this one too something digs over here as you can see there goes a hole so and some of these plants i put in and did not stick the tags on them and there goes that purple bloom i was telling you about when i said the other ones on the other side are pink and then we have some ferns some ferns japanese ferns to be correct i love those japanese ferns i don't know i feel like this is liatris this one right here that's what these two are too they just don't have a bloom inside of them but this one has bloom and i think that's liatris so it might be and here we go lamium this little <laughs> lamp thing i found at the thrift store and i think it's super cute and i just tucked a uh, little baby hosta i found in there and i like thrifting and you can find really cute things there more this is um it's a type of sedum lemon coral sedum i have a few of those i don't think they come back i think they're annual for us so we'll have to see the hostas are, are blooming this one just doesn't have blooms yet but they're doing good this is a host a hydrangea not a hosta i'm getting tired y'all oh here goes a tag because one of them died oh what is this plant so I can tell y'all exactly what this one is. Because I seem to can't. Columbine. How did I forget? So I have a tag because. And one of them died. And I don't know if it's going to come back. So I just left the tag there so I can remember. And if it doesn't, it's okay. I'll just plant something else there. So those plants are Columbine. Ha ha. And this is blooming. And I have another one over here. Hosta. This right here is um, phlox. And so you, you all know it dies back. It blooms in the spring. Um, and so this right here is... Um, it's a... Oh, gosh. Yeah. Prime rolls. This is primrose. And that's what... Remember I said I didn't know what those were? These plants right here. These are primrose and they bloom they bloom yellow those are primrose oh lord <laughs> anyways this hosta right here is called the praying hands hosta i do know the name of that hosta that is the praying hands hosta so we put that hosta under the tree go ahead and pray under the tree you know so these bloom purple i didn't put the tags in these ones as i can see back here is a phlox that I cut back and it'll, it'll rebloom. This is a stilby. The other day I thought I lost it, but I actually didn't. It just needed water. It likes water. Another hydrangea. Um, the bloom is dying. I think this is this is a type of grass. I don't think it's liatris, but columbine right here. Um, since I was up here, that's another hosta that I moved. That. Um, just got burnt up and it's so pretty this right here it bloomed so lovely this is phlox it is open and act pink pink a dot that's been a, and when it does bloom i have another one so i'll show you the blooms on that 
but since we're over here that's a hydrangea that i just put in the ground so i'm not expecting anything from that this right here so this plant right here this plant right here and that plant over there if you can see it they are all called i got a tag i like when i have a tag <laughs> agastache agastache that's what that is so put that tag back a tag for the win. This is a hellebore. Um, they bloom in the spring, but then they stay with their foliage. I did cut it, cut some of the foliage off. They stay with their foliage um, throughout the winter. This right here is one of the smallest, I think, irises I have. And it actually bloomed. It bloomed a little yellow plant. That's another hosta that I had to move. That's a hydrangea that just went in the ground recently, Columbine. This is that phlox. That big one over there, it was full of blooms. Now this small one has plenty of blooms. There goes another hosta I had moved. And this right here is my little limelight hydrangea that I'm excited about. We see that it has buds. Um, and it is the last, um, one of the last hydrangeas to bloom. That is my understanding. So I can't wait till the blooms come and you all see that. We have a lavender there, a false cypress there, hosta, another lavender, and then... Oh, come on. This is, I can't forget this one. Loxbar. I knew it was Loxbar. Loxbar um, Delphinium. <laughs> I just told you all how I love this plant and I almost lost it. But this is my Loxbar Delphinium. Aren't the blooms? Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And the other day when I was at Lowe's, I saw another one where it was broke and it was on clearance. And I was like, oh, I don't know about that. But I should have got it because, you know, we can make these clearance plants recover. Let me hurry up and get out this area because we're going to be on a part three and we don't want that. These right here, that's another fall cypress. These right here are my, um, um, and I'm getting blooms butterfly bushes and they are the dwarf virgin they're not the huge virgin i forget how the specs on it but i have three of those and then another hydrangea and this hydrangea which is the same as that one is just blooming like crazy let me tell you all the name of it and once again your hydrangeas bloom according to your soil but it's so interesting because i have pink blooms and purple blooms or is it just the way it goes? This one is the early pink hydrangea. That's all. That's all. That's the name of it. Okay. It's one of those hydrangeas that I got when, um, like, you know, when they do like Easter time, Mother's Day, and then you're supposed to throw them away. No, I put them in the ground. And so that right there is what I call the shade garden we did a full walk through of the shade garden let's run over i want to do max there. let's run over <sighs> over here to the chicken coop garden everything is looking great that we put in we have black eye susan hostas we have bees bomb oh my gosh we have that i recently cut back salvia we have um bell flowers over here we have cats pajamas we have something that looks like it needs water i think that's a zinnia ladies mantle um these two right here these two flowers are speedwell um they were in the shade garden um in the area that gets a little bit of sun but i guess not as much so i moved them out of there Another Coryoptis, Lamium. So a lot of stuff repeats itself too. Catsnip. I just recently, no, that one's Salvia. Daylily. This one I just cut back. It was nice and strong and big. The Black Eye Susans. We have our pots that have um, Salvia, um, Petunias, um, Coryoptis in it. Um, so yeah, a lot of stuff repeats itself. So, but I want you all to see how everything is just looking. It's looking, look at that lamia. It's looking wonderful. Um, 
it's going to be great. This is an aster. This is, I got to get the exact name of this because this one is doing great over here while the other ones on the other side are doing okay. And I might want to go ahead and move those over here. Um, this right here is doing good, except when my dogs want to see the goat so bad and they come over here. Bees bomb balloon flower is so pretty, that balloon flower. Can y'all see it? It looks like a balloon before it opens. That's why you call it kind of see how it's like it gets like a big circle. I don't know if y'all can see it, but anyways, a lot of stuff repeats itself. Cat's pajamas, a lot of stuff. This is flocks. I couldn't even think of the name of this. Um, this might need to be moved. As you can see, my dog was stepping on this. Must have been today because look at that. And so we're trying to keep him. Um out of the garden areas but you know he gets excited about his friends back there the goats so anyways um yeah so that's it we got through the chicken run space and in the last video i didn't do an overview but we got through this space and so thank you all once again for tuning in thank you for watching part two of my vehicle my video thank you for your support thank you for all your comments thank you for sharing thank you for liking thank you for watching i hope you learned something leave anything in the comments any um thoughts you might have i would appreciate it i'm going to be doing so many more projects out here i gotta make some pathways i gotta move a bunch of stuff around i gotta plant some things i'm working in a whole nother brand new space where there are no plants are plants at so i hope you all will follow me on that journey as I do that, I'm walking up because it's mighty hot out here, but it's okay because we got through Garden Tour Part 2. See you in the next one. God bless.